you're thinking about becoming a high school math teacher and you're wondering what are the educational requirements necessary for this career path? Hi, I'm Dr. Michael J. Yeomans, founder and director at College Prep Express, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the educational requirements for becoming a high school math teacher. Now, first thing you want to distinguish is between private school and public school requirements. Private or independent schools don't really have any mandated requirements, which is to say, by law, they're not required to have their faculty have any degrees or licensures or certification. Now, that doesn't mean that any particular private school may not prefer that you're licensed or certified, but you'd have to check with each private school and see what their particular requirements are. Um, but you may be thinking, well, I know I want to go into public school education in my state, so what are the educational requirements for my state? Well, good question, glad you asked. It will vary from state to state. You want to familiarize yourself with your state's Department of Education website and see what the particular requirements are for math education in that state. As a general rule, though, you're going to have to have a degree requirement, uh, sometimes a major or field of study requirement, um, licensure and certification, and then you're also going to want a skill set and a knowledge base to launch a successful mathematics career. All right, so let's take these one at a time. Degree. First thing is you're going to need at a minimum a Bachelor of Arts degree. Many states will also require a master's degree in math or education. Okay, second, your major. Well, if you're going to pursue a career as a math teacher, you very likely want to major in math or, as I said, uh, education, secondary education, for example, if you're going to be a high school math teacher. All right, licensure or and or certification, that typically follows from an education program. If you're in a degree program in education, whether it's a bachelor's or a master's, they will uh, instruct you on how to go about getting certified. It typically involves doing some field work, having some student teaching practicum experiences, and you jump through a bunch of state mandated hoops and you get your uh, experience, you get your license and or your certification that way. In most states, it also requires passing a subject specific test, in this case, mathematics. Uh, you're also going to want a skill set and a knowledge base and acquire those in your educational background before you enter the career. The skill set obviously. Um, has to do with classroom management. You want to, if you're a math major, you want to take some education courses so you learn about how to manage classroom, how to become a good teacher. You want to learn the science of pedagogy. Um, in terms of the knowledge base, if you're going to high school in mathematics, you want to have a solid background in transition math, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, pre-calculus, and perhaps calculus. Now, you don't need to know all of these. Uh, you just need to know one uh, to actually get your foot in the door. You can just know Algebra 1, for example, and be a transition math and Algebra 1 teacher. Obviously, the wider you cast your net, the more courses you'll be able to teach. So there you have it. Again, I'm Dr. Michael J. Yeomans, and today I've been talking to you about the educational requirements for becoming a high school math teacher. Mm -hmm.